Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech and welcome back to the channel. And today I'm gonna to be showing you guys my GNOME extension plugins for 2023. So let's get started. Now I've been using GNOME for quite some time and I think I've done a couple of these videos before. Now I could use KDE or XFCE, but GNOME since 2020 had a really good way of getting fractional scaling working, which works very well for my laptops. That is why I haven't changed over, but uh, now KDE and XFCE does have pretty good uh, fractional scaling. So I might end up changing to them later on in the future. But for now, I'm just gonna show you all the GNOME extensions that I've been using. So. Now here's my desktop and I'm actually gonna jump over to my GitHub repository, which is right over here. And I actually listed all the wallpapers that I use download here and I updated it about three hours ago. Uh, I also have all the new extensions that I have currently used. I'm gonna go through some of them just so you guys know what it is. So the first thing I have, um, I do have Blur My Shell on my main computer. This is just a VM running Pop! OS, which can't use Blur My Shell, so I don't have it installed, but I do have all the other things installed like user themes, which allows you to install extra themes. Um, but new things that I've added is Top Hat, which gives you this little thing over here that gives you CPU usage, memory usage, mem uh, RAM network usage, and a bunch of other stuff. Next up, I have my clipboard indicator, which is one of the coolest things I have. Uh, I use this on Windows uh, called Ditto. That's the same thing, it basically saves all your last 20, 30 uh, things that you put into a clipboard and then you could also recall it or save it for future use. So I use this a lot because sometimes I copy and paste a lot of things and I just want it to retain in the memory so I could use it again and I don't have to copy it over and over again. Now, next thing I have is something called Cover Flow Alt Tab, which is really, really cool. It gives you this really cool appearance. Uh, Windows have it for a while, I do really like that. That's why I keep it in here as well because it actually helps you read the text on the next tab instead of just you know little tiny icons. So if I don't have it on, this is how it normally looks like on um, Pop! OS. You see like it just shows you the icons. So I tend to keep it on. Uh, next up we have Desktop Cube. It doesn't show on Pop! OS much because uh, Pop! OS has like a upward and downward uh type desktop clearance so it doesn't show it kind of like does the appearance and you might see like hey the graphic looks a little bit slow because i'm actually running on a vm right now but um this is how desktop cube should look like it's like compass if you are familiar with that from back in the day where we could do a desktop cube on compass uh this extension gives that ability which gives it a really cool look now next i really like this which is rounded window corners I currently have it on this Firefox. It's very subtle because I set it to that way, but if I don't have it uh, around the window corners, you could see that it's rounded on top, but it's like edged on the bottom. It doesn't have that rounded corner. So just to finish the look, I want the rounded corners, but you can also like change the settings around to have the border radius go really crazy. You see that on the Firefox? Like it's going crazy. Like I could, I could leave it at six, just saw the subtle look, but you can make it look really round depending on your theme. Uh, next I have is rounded corners, which is for the top right and top left of the um, actual desktop or the bottom left and the bottom right. And you could change the settings for those. Definitely gives it a better look. So I really like that as well. Now, a thing that I do have installed on my main desktop, actually on my laptop, that I don't have installed here is GS Connect, which allows your Android phone to connect to your desktop and vice versa to transfer files. Now, I use that a lot because I film with my phone a lot, so I need to transfer files over to my desktop. And it's so much more easier when you have GS Connect or KDE Connect. One thing I don't have on this list is Tailscale, which I use a lot of. Uh, Tailscale is a VPN client that allows me to connect to other computers as long as you have the application installed. So this actually helps me uh, monitor it and use it and I could turn on and off the status. Now, you do need the actual Tailscale software installed. That's just the indicator that allows you to control it, but it works really well just like the Windows desktop version. Anyway, that is it for all my GNOME extensions that I currently use and I've added a bunch more recently probably within the past two months on my new laptop setup so hope you guys enjoyed this if you have any questions hit it down in the comments below or if you guys are new to this channel consider subscribing and also hitting that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is going to be out and as I say my nerd cave hack till it hurts